Hi kids! Today we will learn symmetrical figures, asymmetrical figures, and line of symmetry. So let's get started. Here is an image of a heart. Can you fold it exactly halfway so that its two halves are exactly similar? Or one half completely covers the other half. Let's try. Here we are folding it. Yeah, it completely covers the other half. And when you can fold a shape in half and one half exactly covers the other half, we can say that the shape is symmetrical. And the fold line is the line of symmetry. So, this shape is a symmetrical shape. And this line of fold that divides this shape into two similar halves is the line of symmetry. Now, let's try this with another figure. Here we have an image. Let's try to fold it and see if it is a symmetrical figure or not. Here we are folding it. Yes, if we fold this image here, it completely covers the other half. So it's a symmetrical image. And this line of fold is its line of symmetry. Now, Let's try the same with another figure. Here is a rectangle. Let's fold this rectangle halfway. If we fold it here, it does not work. Example, one half does not cover the other half. So let's try another way. Let's fold it this way. Yeah, if we fold it here, it works. That is, one half is completely covering the other half. So we got to know that this figure is symmetrical and this line of fold is the line of symmetry. Now kids, you have a fair idea. What are symmetrical figures? And what is line of symmetry? Now, let's see a few examples of some symmetrical figures and their line of symmetry. Here we have a butterfly and we can fold it exactly halfway. So it's a symmetrical figure and the line of fold is the line of symmetry. Here we have another symmetrical figure, a rabbit. And we can fold it exactly halfway. So it's a symmetrical figure. And the line of fold is the line of symmetry. Here are some more examples. A is a perfect example of symmetrical figures. This smiley too, and this trapezium too. Have a look at all these figures and their line symmetry. Kids, now let's learn making a symmetrical figure. It's interesting. Let's take a piece of paper. Now fold it halfway and make any shape along the fold like this and cut it out. Now open the fold. What do you see? Here is a symmetrical shape with two halves that can cover each other. And this line of fold is our line of symmetry. You can make many symmetrical figures this way. Now, let's learn about the 
line of symmetry of a circle. Here we have a circle. Is it a symmetrical figure? Let's find it out by folding it halfway. Yes, if we fold it halfway, it's one half covers the other half completely. So it's a symmetrical figure. Now let's see how many lines of symmetry can you make in a circle? Try folding the circle halfway. We can fold it here. We can fold it here too. So we can make any number of lines of symmetry in a circle. As all the lines that pass through the center of the circle are lines of symmetry. Kids, now let's see some asymmetrical figures. This is an asymmetrical figure. As we can't fold it into two halves that can cover each other, like this. Here are some more examples. Have a look. These figures are asymmetrical. These numbers and characters are perfect examples of asymmetrical figures. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!